Hello and welcome to one of my new videos. Today I want to show you how to make a very useful chemical in labs, and this is salicylic acid. We will make it from acetyl salicylic acid, a chemical that you all have at home better known as aspirin. Aspirin, or acetyl salicylic acid, is an ester between salicylic and acetic acid. How can two acids react to an ester? It's simple. Salicylic acid isn't just an acid, but also a phenol, and phenol can react. So we're breaking this, uh, this bond and make salicylic acid. So in this beaker we have 2500 mg aspirin tablets crushed down to this fine powder, which makes 10 grams of acetyl salicylic acid, and we'll add 50 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide solution to it. So now we need to break the ester bond between the acetyl and the phenol group and the acetyl salicylic acid. We will hydrolyze it. And since hydrolyzing is with water and the reaction with water is very slow at these conditions, we need to use something more reactive. We just added sodium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide is a very strong hydrolyzing agent. If you hydrolyze something in alkaline conditions, you can say you saponify something. To saponify something comes from the, uh, the word soap, which means you make a soap. If you saponify greases, you make soap. Um, to do this at, with your acetyl salicylic acid, you have to boil it for about five minutes and to stir continuously. So now, after the vacuum filtration, which removed all the cellulose or starch or whatever is contained in your tablets, we have to convert the sodium salicylate with hydrochloric acid to salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is very less soluble in water, so it will precipitate it out and we can filter it. So here is our very wet product, which you can see sticks at the spatula. And you can continue purifying by recrystallization in ethanol or in water. Or you can dry it at 90 to 100 degrees in an oven for several hours. Thanks for watching.